Hey guys! So today I'm going to be doing a video on my top 10 favorite songs. Now this was really difficult for me to come up with the list and I'm sure when I'm editing this I'm gonna look back and go holy crap how did you forget about that one? So in this list changes all the time but like my top 10 current favorite songs. My number one song has been the same for like two and a half years now but the rest of them frequently shift. Um, these aren't really in any particular order other than the first one. The first one is my favorite song. The rest of them are just like jumbled. I wrote it down on my phone in my notes because I knew there was no way I was gonna remember all of them off the top of my head. So I have them all right here. You can't see it but I have them all right here. So I'm just going to get into it. So number one, I think I've said this before, is Missing You by All Time Low. That song means so freaking much to me. I'm probably gonna get a tattoo of it. <laughs> yeah, that's a thing that I'm planning to do with my body in the future. Um, Missing You is like my absolute favorite song. It's just, it's so good. It's so amazing and I love it so much. Uh, number two right now is Walk Alone by Paris. All of Paris's new album is amazing, but Walk Alone for some reason, like, just, there's like a vibe about it that I like really, really love. Uh, number three is Two Coffins by Against Me. I really like fell in love with the song the first time I heard it and it's so fun to play and it's like perfect for my vocal range. It's low enough that I don't have to like fight with it. So I might do a cover of that in the future. It's like on my list of covers that are going to happen eventually but just haven't happened yet. I have way, 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 way too many of those where it's like, oh yeah, I'm gonna do this eventually but it hasn't happened yet. <laughs> Um, number four is Chasing Ghosts by The Amity Affliction. This song, I like, I was trying to decide, The Amity Affliction like had to be on here because I love them so much, but I was trying to decide like which song by The Amity Affliction I liked the best, and um, Chasing Ghosts really like, I, I cry like half the time I listen to it because it's just such, um, it's such like an emotional song and I kind of have like, a bit of a personal tie to it like in a way it reminds it reminds me of a thing that's been going on in my life for quite a while um and it's just like it breaks my heart when I listen to it but it's just it's such a beautiful song and I love it so much I've thought about doing a cover of that one like it's on a list of ones that I might do I just I honestly and this is kind of a ridiculous thing I don't know if I could get through that one without crying I've played it I figured out like a little like acoustic version of it and like I can play it and like if I'm just like playing it on my guitar I'm okay but like if I try to sing it most of the time I choke up by the end of it and I don't want it to sound like crap but maybe that'll get covered someday maybe it won't but the Amity Affliction are so amazing they're like they're like kind of near me tonight the day that I'm filming this and I'm so like sad that I'm not gonna go see them but it's just far enough that like it doesn't make sense to go and I have stuff I have a show tomorrow I have a show the next day so it just like didn't really make sense but they're definitely on my list of bands that I'm going to need to see um I think this is number five yep Bad at Love by Halsey this song is so good <laughs> Like, holy crap, I love it so much. I just saw Halsey the other night and she was so good and I like freaked out when she played Bad at Love because it's, it's just such a good song. It's definitely, I'm going to cover that one eventually. It's so good, but it, it, her whole new album is like amazing and I love Badlands too and I love Room 93. I thought about putting Is There Somewhere on here. It would probably be like right outside top 10. I love Is There Somewhere so much. Uh, yeah, but she's awesome in concert too. 10 out of 10 would recommend if you could go see Halsey to do it. Um, number 6 is Nice to Know You by All Time Low. 
I like struggled on whether to put therapy or nice to know you on here because I knew like missing you was going to be here on the list but I couldn't figure out whether to put nice to know you or therapy and I just went with nice to know you because I've been listening to it more than therapy recently but therapy is like one of my favorite songs so like honorable mention to therapy um but nice to know you is like it's a jam and also like at the time it came out it like really related to some things going on in my life so I think I like kind of made a connection with it because of that but it's such a good song like even if I didn't like have any like kind of connection with it it would probably still make it on here what was that number that was number six number seven is Save Myself by Ed Sheeran I love all of Ed Sheeran's new album. It's so good. I didn't love his uh, last album very much, Multiply. I didn't love it that much, but this new one is so good. And there are a ton of great songs on there, but Save Myself is probably my favorite. Um, it's just like... It's a, it's a freaking sad song. There are a lot of sad songs on this list now that I'm looking at it. It's a really sad song, but it's really beautiful. Like, it's really nice. Okay, 8 is Perfect by Design by Nate Wants to Battle. I, in like, I bet it was like late April, early May when I really started listening to Nate Wants to Battle and his album Sandcastle Kingdoms is like one of my favorite things to listen to like when I'm trying to like draw or paint or something. It just like, it like gets me like, it, it inspires me a lot. Like it's a great album, but Perfect by Design is so good. Um, it, there's a girl on the track, Amelie, I think. I think I have that right. I'm sorry if I don't. I think I have that right. I'll double check that before I put this part in the video. But it's such a good song. It's so pretty. Um, yeah. Nine is kind of an old song, but I love it. Um, Turn It Off by Paramore. It's like... I love a lot of Paramore songs, but I would have to say Turn It Off is my favorite. It sucks because it's way out of my vocal range, so it's really hard for me to play it. I like found a key that's kind of okay for me to play it in, but it's still not like perfect. Hayley Williams just has such a crazy vocal range that trying to play like any Paramore song for me is a struggle. I love Paramore, but it's just so difficult for me to play because like... I don't have that vocal range. Most people don't have that vocal range. It's not just like a me thing. And number 10 is one that a lot of you are gonna cringe at, so I'm just cringe warning right here. There it is. I'm sorry. Um, it's a song called If You Don't Know by Five Seconds of Summer. This is old as hell. <laughs> They never, like, I don't think they ever technically released, if you don't know. Um, I think I have that right. I don't think they ever technically released it. Maybe, uh, hold on. I'm gonna look up real quick if they ever technically released it, and I will be right back. So, if you don't know, I guess, was on an EP, but I think it was one of the weird ones that, um, was only available on Australia because I have never seen it, and I own, like, every Five Sauce album that you can get your hands on, so, yeah, technically I guess it was on an EP, but I think it was one of those weird ones that God only knows where you were able to buy it, but this song, like, it's so good. Like, I've loved this song for, like, three or four years now. I've loved, I've loved Five Sauce for, like, five years now, which is kind of, maybe getting, holy crap, I think we're getting close to six years? Whew! That's scary. That's scary. Oh, boy. Ha! <laughs> But I love them back, like, when they were, like, on YouTube, like, they were the first, like, cover people that I watched, which is, like, crazy to think about now, like, blows my mind, my babies are growing up so fast. <laughs> but I've loved this song, like, ever since the first time I heard it. It's just so good. It's, like, it's sad, but it's so pretty, and, like, I just love it, and I, when I saw them last summer, I had sound check, like VIP sound check tickets, and they played it, and I cried like a baby. Like, it was bad, 
but I know so many of you probably cringed at me even mentioning Five Sauce, but they kind of had to be on this list considering my longtime love for them. They had to make it on the list. <laughs> um, so I think that is my top 10 favorite songs currently. Emphasis on currently. This will probably change by the time I get around to editing this video, and I'm not even kidding. Pro some of you probably think I'm saying that for a fact. I'm being dead serious. This will probably be different by the time I edit it. Yay! But, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!